This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to the Sweet Stuff Software. This week I'm doing part two of a two-part series on my 10 favorite Windows 7 gadgets. Did the first five last week, I'm going to do the remaining five this week, and yes, I removed the first five so we can focus on these. So let's get started. First up is a Skype gadget. Now this doesn't stop me from having to have Skype loaded, but Skype is minimized and I can configure it to show me people who are offline. I can make a call. For example, I have Andrew highlighted. I can call him, hang up, I can chat, I can click options. You can see you can hide offline contacts, hide call forward contacts, change the appearance, and so on. So it's very handy for me because we use Skype a lot at Butterscotch to do things with Skype right from here. Up next is Google Calendar Gadget. I like this because it lets me see my schedule, see the things that are coming up. Today I have a weekly meeting with my daughter Katie at 1 o'clock. I can go in here and configure a number of options. You can pick which calendars to use, the theme, and so on. Very nice. Up next is Volume Gadget. Now I have Volume Gadget for the same reason I have the Shutdown Gadget because it's often awkward to try to play around down in the tray trying to find the volume thing. So this way I can move it up and down. Didn't quite do that right. Down and up. I can click here and mute it. So it's very handy. Let's me quickly change the volume or mute the sound altogether. Up next is Gmail Counter. I like this primarily because I like the way it looks. But it also has a number of options. It shows me I have two email messages waiting. Click the options. You see that I can change the settings. I can change the color. I can change the notification sounds. I can determine how often it updates, which sound to play, and so on. Very slick. And when I have mail, I just double click on this and it opens up the browser and I see my email. And last up, and number 10, is Hermes. Now I have this because it's easy to configure so that I can see the latest comments on Butterscotch.com. If I click on here, it has Google News, but it, I've put in the link for Butterscotch Comments. You can do more feeds. You can determine the scroll speed. You can determine the display, and you can also do things with your connection. So the main reason I use this over some of the other RSS readers that are available as gadgets is that I can quickly see comments that are left on Butterscotch and then go and reply. For example, someone here made a comment, and I will go and reply. So these have been 10 of my favorite Windows 7 gadgets. You may have your own. There are a link in the show notes so you can download them. That's all for me for this week. I'll be back next week with more cool software to talk about. I hope you'll join me. And until then, for all the sweet stuff, stay right here on Butterscotch.com. Hey, this is Doc. I know a lot of you watch my show, so if you'd like to show your support, head on over to Hover.com slash sweet stuff and get domains for 10% off. You show your support. Hover is easy to use and lets you get domain names and make the most out of them. Thanks.